Hello everyone, myself Pachinkya and we are here to learn more about the STM controller. So we will start with the new STM32 project. Click on file, click on new, click on new STM32 project. Now it's loading. So we will start with new project. So in this video, we will learn about how to use the GPIO functionality. Uh, that is bit banging. That is directly to use the GPIO uh, registers. That, uh, that is without using the HAL library. In this video, we will see how to use the GPIO functionality without the HAL library. So for that, we will start with the MCU selector. For this simulation, we are using STM32F103C6 controller. So select that, click on next, give the project name as GPIO, Bitbang or register, GPIO register first or register mini first, right? You can name as you want and finish, click on finish. For this video, we will use the system configuration made by the STM32Cube IDE. We will go. We will also see the system configuration in upcoming videos. But for now, we will just check the GPIO functionality directly using the registers. Now let's configure the GPIO pin 1 as GPIO PA1 as GPIO output. Now let's go into system 4, click on GPIO, click on GPIO pins. Now here you can set the GPIO mode as output push pull, then pull up, internal pull up, then high speed. You can check the clock configuration that the clock is made to HSI, the clock is made to HSI, that is system clock is made to HSI, which is 8 megahertz. Now click on generate code. First we will see, we will see the difference between use of HAL library and direct access to GPIO registers. while one will directly access the GPIO register that is this R1 then we will use the toggle functionality that is TO toggle toggle pin we will beat this code We will need the hex file for that. We go to settings, then build steps, then HAL, copy this. I am copying it from the previous project. Click on your current project, properties, go into C build, then settings then build steps in the post build steps in the command paste this command and click on apply and close then rebuild here you can say zero error zero warnings and just above that you can see that the hex file is created 
okay so now we will load this x file into our current controller project program file now gpio where is gpio gpio register mini go into debug then load this x file click on ok before that we will have to configure the power rails so add vss a to ground click on vcc give 3.3 volt add vdd to this click on ok we have already loaded the hex file now click on run So in auto mode you can see that now first of all let's make all other channels zero off and just use the channel A increase it to 3.3 volt change the frequency right and then you can pause now we will see what is the frequency of this okay. so adjust your cursor that is 16.25 microsecond if you can see this that is 16.25 microsecond is the cursor is the I'll adjust it little bit 16.40 microsecond 16.40 microsecond is time taken for one token right so let's calculate the frequency 16.40 microsecond inverse of that that is 60 kilohertz is the frequency that we are getting now let's use the direct access to registers now let's go to our project comment this now we know that we are using GPIOE we will need ODR we are accessing GPIO1 so we are accessing GPIO1 right ODR1 we have to set it to 1 and then again we have to set it to 0 right so we have to set it to 1 then we have to set it again to back to 0 right in this way we have to do the coding so all others will be whatever the configuration let it be then we will keep it with whatever configuration we just have to change this ODR1 register ODR1 bit that is bit number 1 so bit number 0 is for PA0 bit number 1 is for PA1 so we have to change this we have to toggle this bit only so we will write the code accordingly that let it be all will be 0 0 ff first we will make it 0 that is 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 that is d right so we will make it and it 0 x 0 d See, OP, toggle bit. This we want to make it high, so we we'll have to make it zero 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 one zero. That is two. Again, give just one instruction. That is NOP. Okay, so NOP is for no operation. It will use only one instruction cycle so it gives us delay of one instruction cycle for that we use the NOP instruction it is the smallest delay that that can be generated so now let's load the hex file click on ok click on ok and you can see let's measure the time delay difference it becomes close to 
4.25 microsecond 4.25 microseconds so the frequency becomes 235 kilohertz so you can see that the frequency is drastically increased so what is the reason behind that the my the main reason that when we use the hal library inside the hal library there are some functions written so it will go to the function then it will execute that function and then it will enable that pin it will set the pin either to 0 or to 1 and then it will return back to the main program so this whole process takes some time and that is the main reason why GPIO and that is the main reason why bit banging is more efficient than the Hull library but you should know how to use the for this you should know how to use the registers of the controller so this is it for the video hope you enjoy the video and hope you understand the concept of bit banging and for more content like share and subscribe this is Ajinkya thanks for watching the video